Black Box Productions. Check it out. He believes those who know who killed little Nathaniel will be more apt to talk with someone like Trick Trick than police. We have to start doing whatever it takes by any means necessary to get the people who kill kids, who harm elders, who are attacking our women off the streets. And if we have to start putting our own money up to get information to get people off the street, then that's exactly what we're going to do. I can't call myself OG. I can't call myself Unc. I can't call myself Big Homie. I can't call myself Dr. Christian Anthony Mathis if I allow the an animal to roam the neighborhood bringing harm against children, elderly, and women, and I don't do nothing about it. What's the point of having money if you're not going to use it to help your people? Oh, my mama, mama. That's crazy. That is crazy. First of all, rest in peace to the child that lost their life. All the children that have lost their life to senseless violence is definitely a heartbreaker. Um, something very difficult to deal with. Uh, as a parent, I couldn't imagine. Uh, I don't know the total situation what took place, but it seemed like it was some random gun violence and the child became um, subsequently the victim of it, which has happened tons of time and something that we cannot allow, something that I agree that the person responsible for it should definitely be held accountable for. However, when you say you can't Call yourself OG or big homie. I'm going to leave your government out of it or whatever the other term you utilize. Because big homie and OG are terms that originated from here in Los Angeles County, California. OG, I was just tripping on. I saw like a, a white wash... Um, kitty female uh uh reality show commercial advertisement saying i guess they a throwback finna come again and in their title they the og of it saying they the original and i don't know if y'all know that the term og originated in, from la gang banging og originally stood for original gangster so through the years, you know how our culture is always adapted to and utilized outside of our culture and becomes, terms start meaning other things. Now OG just means original. And the gangster is kind of like just dropped off and OG is a common term. However, the boy Trick Trick is using it in its original sense. He is a certified, if you ask the internet and the hip hop culture, street cat. So, you know, I know Trick Trick. And I understand what he is trying to say in that video. But I don't think he understands that once you align yourself with law enforcement to the extent <laughs> of providing an award to bringing someone in to the system, that's when you have to cease calling yourself Big Homie or OG. That's when you have chosen civilian status and now you're on a whole nother page. It ain't no teeter in the fence. You can be the Big Homie and the OG. And I'm not going to judge you as a man feeling like you reached to the point where you realize... Okay, I'm on the other side of this situation. It's OG, big homie stuff. I'm not that. I am the last person that I call myself. And I can't recall your government name. But that's who you are now. You're not the big homie. You're not the OG. Because now you have developed a relationship with law enforcement that you can't turn on and off. There is no turning that on and off. There is no being an OG, big homie in certain situations. We don't f the police. And now, hey, 
I'm going to go as far as be like Curtisha did in funding a murder investigation and now financing a reward on bringing someone to justice. These are the same crooked, the same crooked systems that you are bringing these people to that you complain about. And it's deep to me because that's why there is no more coal or there is no more streets and it's a myth. That's why all those statements actually apply because if you can be an individual as public as Trick Trick and think that you can retain your OG big homie status and still say for whatever reason you want to justify it that you're willing to cooperate with a law enforcement effort to bring somebody to justice, there is no code. If that is included in the street code, then the street code is now is so diluted, it no longer exists. If you watch Scarface, if you are a part of the culture of outside of the law, and someone within your culture does something in the sense of including women and children to your disliking. Just watch the movie Scarface. Trick Trick probably a cat who got a picture of that movie up in one of his homes. I'm probably sure he got multiple homes. And one of them homes in the game room by the pool table, you probably got Scarface up on your wall. And I said probably. But right then and there, you get your prescription for those in the game that include women and children, when you feel like that is not how it should be, you don't then turn into an informant, a bounty hunter, a fugitive chaser, a fisher of men, an officer of the law, a funder of a manhunt. You're no longer big homie. You're no longer any of that OG, any of that that you're trying to attach to your name. You done laid that down. And I still can say it's not my place to tell you that you should not be involved with the manhunt financially or however you're going to use your funds. But I just want to make you aware that you have laid down your stripes or anything that you called yourself claiming as a real one, world nationwide street. The real ones can't tap in with that on my mama mama. We not condoning anything happening in the children. But if you're going to join the law, you got to join the law and stay with the law. Ain't no running back and forth. Oh, I'm the law today. I'm on their side. I feel how they feel. Just think about it. You cannot never be effective against an organization as powerful as them when their code is so strict. I don't care if they agree, don't agree, do agree, whatever it is, if they can witness one another breaking the law on camera and go home and maybe even cry about it with their families because it was that terrible but they refuse to get involved based on the code that they have with within one another and it's not just within one precinct it's city nation country worldwide they that's the code on my mama mama so I don't know if it's age or just whatever y'all was really cut from from the beginning, looking for any excuse to make being on the police side of criminality cool. And it ain't cool, because especially if you're saying some cats was coming to get at they man, and God bless the soul of that baby, Lord, and, they, and his loved ones and all that. And I know they might be seeking justice. They might not even be the people in the game. And the game is ugly and it's dirty, but y'all can't make it no prettier than it is. This is why everybody don't get it. This is why y'all in the comments confused about when we talk about testifying on behalf of the prosecution makes you a rat. And you talking about, oh, so you supposed to do this and you supposed to just turn your back on all that? Yeah, if you with what we say we was with. Yeah, it's an ugly game. This is why I'm just trying to deter you from going in it. Because it's an ugly game if you're really with it and you really stick to the script. You might be on a lonely road, but if you really stick to the script and play it, play it by the rules, it's an ugly game on my mama mama. And that's why you see so many individuals who introduce themselves as a part of it, get caught in pinches, and then they break the code, and then they want to tell you, uh, 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 
it ain't that. And um, I ain't breaking the code. They want to bend the code and try to make their situation seem somewhat other different other than what it is. But when you when you testify on behalf of the prosecution in a murder trial, you're a rat. You are a rat. If you are somehow behooved by the prosecution to show up to all y'all had a subpoena question in your mouth so much, he was subpoenaed. So if he had to honor the subpoena, he showed you what he had available to him when he was asked about them women. I plead the fifth. He could Tonight, wasn't that possible. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All right.